Hello, Melissa Jones friends. This is Mrs. C coming to you from my living room. I have today a story that I used to read to my daughters when they were young. It's called My Cats, Nick and Nora. The cover's a little messed up, but it's a book that I used to enjoy reading to my children when they were little. It's by Isabel Harper, and it's illustrated by Barry Moser. Every Sunday, when my cousin Emmy came over to my house, the first thing we do is find Nick and Nora. I wonder who Nick and Nora are. Ooh. It isn't always easy. They have lots of places to hide. Can you see them? There's one peeking out in the pot and the other one is right there. But no matter where they hide, we always find them. There's one right there picking out. She's picking that one up. We give them their lessons. What do you think they're teaching them? What's that spell? And because today is their birthday, we make them look especially nice. Do you think they like getting dressed up? So silly. We invite all their friends, the little dogs from the neighborhood are coming over to play and have a birthday party. Whose birthday do you think it is? After the party, we take Nick and Nora for a walk. Look at their little piggy toes. Our neighbor, Fluffy, sees us. He wasn't invited to the party because he's not nice. He likes to fight. Does he look sad to you? He looks kind of sad to me, huh? And sometimes Nick and Nora are not nice either. No matter how pretty they look, do you think they want to get dressed up right now? They don't look like they're ready to be dressed up. This isn't the first time Fluffy has ruined us our Sunday afternoon walk. Look, at it's running away. Their dresses are coming off. Emmy and I go back to my house and we're, oh, we don't see Nick or Nora anywhere. Where do you think they are? I don't see them in this picture. They're hiding. But we're not worried. We know exactly what will bring them home. What do you think is going to bring them out? They like the cans. And when Nick and Nora do come back, we can see they are tired and ready for their nap. They look a little sleepy. Only one eye is open. And so are we. They're tired, they're going to sleep. Well, thank you, friends. I miss seeing everybody. Have a good day. Bye for now.